Hello, in this lecture, we're gonna work on a master budget and we're gonna start off with the sales budget over here. We're gonna have our information on the left-hand side and then we're gonna enter that information into the blue area over here. Uh, the master budget can be a bit intimidating because of one, the amount of information that is given in a problem like this, and two, because of the amount of information we have to input can be very large. However, if we do it basically in chunks, step-by-step, step, and there is a step-by-step step process, in order uh, an order that we have to do it in basically starting of course with the sales budget also want to point out that we are going to do a master budget and we're thinking about manufacturing companies uh, and the reason for a manufacturing company type budget is often because it's the largest uh, type of budget we're gonna to have to think about because we have to think about purchasing and inventory so obviously if you were working on something if we had a budget for something that was not uh, a manufacturing company then we would still have a budget, but we would take out, of course, a lot of the, the manufacturing stuff, probably a more simplified type of budget. Okay, so the first thing, uh, we'll, what we'll have in our information is we want to know where we're at at a point in time, where the budget is going to be for. So we're going to be budgeting for, in this case, July, August, and September. So that'll be the third quarter. And the information we're generally going to need to budget looking forward is we're going to need what happened basically in the past, and we're going to need some general rules in terms of how we're going to budget so first we have what what happened in the past so that's going to of course be the balance sheet as of 6 30 so that's going to be our beginning numbers that we're going to start off with and then we're going to use those of course to budget to the future so the balance sheet's going to be over here and then a problem like this will generally have a lot of other miscellaneous information including things like uh, what we think our, our sales are going to be and, and our policies in terms of basically our collections and, and things like that. So we'll go through these things as we work through the problem as needed, talk about where they're generally gonna be in a problem as well as where we might get them in real life. So a budget's gonna have to start off with basically sales and that's because everything else is gonna be generated from that. We can't budget anything else until <laughs> we know uh, how much we're gonna, we're gonna receive in sales. So that has to be where we start and much of the sales budget's just gonna be given to you when the, within a problem. So down here in this problem, we have are July, August, and September. So we're taking July, August, and September. And note, a lot of times these problems will have basically a June and October type numbers in there because uh, we're gonna need those to make some of our estimates. So remember that we are working on the third quarter, July, August, and September, and we, we're gonna give data for before that time, possibly after that time, in order to help us with parts of the budget as we go. And so they're giving us basically the sales in units here. So remember, we sell things. We sell inventory if you want to make up some type of widget that we're selling <laughs> that's that's fine we're making something and selling it these are the number of units that we're going uh, to sell and we're going to sell them at 24 dollars so that's going to be given in the problem in real life of course we'd have to project that in some way and um, uh, that would be part of the process of the budget but any kind of problem 